look, I trusted my wife. That's the only reason you are in this house. But don't you ever step your feet in this room again. You hear me? You gotta stay here and listen to me and listen to what I gotta say. Sir. You hear me? How would you feel if your handsome, rich husband Edison find out that your ex boyfriend and your baby's daddy is sleeping in his house? You want him to find that out? What do you want from me, Desmond? Um, today we get one of the tough, big, um, what not if I express this person at the movie industry and now we own Salon Brother. Um, without going further, I don't know, but when I say go, when we talk, when I go know the kind of person we will be. Um, you can introduce yourself to Fambule. Well, um, Usually, I like to introduce myself very simple. Okay. Of course, uh, Mohamed Ba from Sierra Leone. And um, I'm, a, I'm a producer, actor, and I actually live in Houston, Texas, in the United States. I've been there for quite a while now. Oh, okay. Um, now a producer, now an actor. Um, who's saying you? begin to realize say, you want to be an actor? Um, that's a very interesting question. You know, back home, I uh, used to take part in a concert, okay. as we call it back yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. We technically in a stage play, some people mm -hmm. call it. But, um, you know, of course, we go through civil war. So that kind of fit away a little bit. Okay. But then when I came to the state, I see the African movies begin to come, you know, down here, and we start watching them over here. Okay. So that trigger back, you know, back back then, we I used to be, you know, in stage plays. So I tell myself, say, you know what? Maybe now the time don't come, so we'll go back in. And um, from then, here I am, <laughs> getting this good interview. Yeah, yeah. because um, way back we don't hear really Mohammed. Uh, Mohammed, uh, and uh, I believe say there are so much movies we don't feature in. Um, uh, I don't know if you can able to name some of the movies then for me. Um, good question. You know, usually when I did an interview mm -hmm. like this, I'm not going to look for name few movies. Okay. Because in the past, after I finished doing interviews, mm -hmm. people don't even attack me. Yeah, why exactly. don't you move? You know? Exactly. But I can tell you one thing for fun. Mm -hmm. When I first started, I used to play minor roles. Okay. Where I can't even remember how many of them I don't play. And they get to a point where I start doing lead roles. Mm -hmm. We, you know, that's when I actually start seeing myself. Mm -hmm. You know. But the only most recent one I will mention is um, Secret Past, where okay. I just do not too long ago. Yeah. Um, what did you enjoy most about acting? <laughs> acting? Wow. Very good question. You know, one of the most things that I like about acting is playing somebody else. I mean, imagine they give you a script. You have to play this guy that you don't even know. And you know, you go into the character of who that person is, and then you just play. I think it's a very unique situation. I mean, playing all kinds of roles, I think that's one of the things I like. Then also, it's education. Okay. Because, you know, 
most time it depends on the role you play you can teach people something okay. so it's, it's a very vast area so what do i like i mean really it's playing a character that is not you um, you know so I, I think i like that too okay i believe like playing a character that is not you and um, sometimes there's something that is scary you give or remember any scary part like um this is what i don't like about well, let me, let me put it this way. You remember how I, uh, I mentioned earlier, I know I could mention movie. Yeah. I played a, a ghost figure in a movie called The Land, okay. whereby, for, you know, there was a church that was built on the land that the devil used to worship, mm -hmm. and I played a demon. Okay. You know, I mean, getting up from the grave, and I was stabbing the chest and all that. You know, after the movie, you know, people were kind of scared of me. I'm like, man, wait a minute, this is just a movie. Yeah. So like I said, I don't want to go into too much mm -hmm. naming of movies. Yeah, no. But I think I think playing something, you know, that is not you, it's, it's kind of unique. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. Um, what are we the act movie? I don't know they do for memorize the lines thing. Uh, I, I don't know what I can do. Memorization. Yeah. That's where I probably respect actors and actresses. Because it's not just about memorizing. People think we memorize a lot, but really it's not that. When you read a script, you have to understand exactly what you play. You know, if you're supposed to be this guy, the first thing you have to understand what that means. And then it helps you to float with that. You know? So have to give actors and actress credit just to pick something up and just understand it and deliver the line I think that's a that's a honor you know? okay. so to me it's kind of like a gift for everybody because understanding is a very very important part of acting because if you don't understand what you're reading because memorization you can memorize and then you go there you just forget it so that's where sometimes we tell the difference between people that can act and people that can act. I'll give you an example from a producer point of view. Okay. I'll get in people meet me and say, oh, I want to be an actress. They'll call me on the phone, bug me. And I'll give them a role, I'll give them a script, and I'll say, you know what? I'm going to try you now. They'll say, oh, no problem, try me. On the day of the set, when you just pull them on the side, say, I mean, just give me your line, they completely went blank. So it's not like those people should discourage, but there's a difference between people that have it and people that don't have it. But it don't mean that if you don't have it, you can't have it. It just means that you need to work on it, you know? So, yeah. No, okay. So understanding that um, you start thing. from like concert, theater, acting, so now you're on a like, movie star, um, the transition and everything. Um, back then, if you ever think, say, waiting ever you did go to now, enjoyment and everything, if you ever think, say, so the movie industry be like? Um, not really. No, because when you look back and you look now, it's not the same. Okay. And I can say that based on where we all come from, you know. Salon was a very hard country. And then for some reason, we kind of lose in the middle. So one thing I can say is with Nigeria brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. that we kind of open the so-called Nollywood, as they call them. Mm -hmm. I'll give them credit because today we also deal with them. They do their own Salon thing. Yes. So I'll give them credit for opening the door. But one thing for sure I know is the Sierra Union. We come on slow to start, but when we start, we are good at what we do. Mm -hmm. That I can say that. Um, thinking now, like which kind of three actors then will you, you feel see you really want to work with? <laughs> Just name like three, like who you, wow. you, you really want to work with. African or whole no, it's <laughs> Just three actors. You, you know, um, that's a tough question because, you see, every time you put someone in the spot <laughs> to name somebody, uh -huh. you, you kind of putting them in the spot. But I can tell you this. Um, 
I, I don't really know how to mention it. Okay. But uh, my main actor really is Denzel Washington. Okay. So to say that no. to, my, to my African audience, <laughs> where's Denzel Washington? Yeah. You know, as a matter of fact, you know, one of the actors who's there we at the go, we them called Page Packers. We I go for an audition, you know, for a Hollywood audition, and I was not choosing. But I can tell you why. I don't want to say. I don't want to say it's because of my accent. Mm -hmm. But you know, there's a level of of different um, auditions. Mm -hmm. So, but hopefully, one thing I'll promise everybody back home, in the salon, yeah. and everybody, you know, in the states or the diaspora mm -hmm. is the good thing is um, the African movies don't really make way in the United States. Okay. So that is a wake up call. Let nobody be fooled. Hollywood know about us. The problem is um, the continent is large and they can't figure what is what. So the only told me to tell my brothers and sisters then is make them know say some of we in the state they work very hard to make sure these things are possible. I mean I don't get good discussion with people that we cannot make things travel happen. So it's just a matter of time. It don't have to be me. Okay. Right? But um, we're here to build that bridge. So, you know, I can say it will be fine. Oh, that's good. Um, for me, you know, they take like um, back roles, now leading roles. How many nominations then? You don't get in. Nominations? Mm -hmm. Wow. Personally, of getting two solid nominations. Okay, that's good. What to make us a solid, sorry for take that out, is because um, you know, some of the other ones then they are not well known in a way. But um, last year I get two. Okay. One at the Gamma Awards where then be nominated as the best supporting actor. But not win, but the movie itself get five Nomination. Okay, we, that was the last movie I did, which was Secret Past. Okay. And um, then the same movie in Nigeria, they get an, an award with them called Nolu TV Awards. Mm -hmm. And also another nomination come out of that one, you know. And uh, one of the other things we are proud of that particular project day was because DSTV, we now one of the largest TV stations in yeah. Africa, mm -hmm. with the African Magic. Yeah pick up the same movie and play across the whole of uh, the whole of Africa and uh, next year March they get an award so they look forward to another nomination and um, we see how that goes okay that's good with all the nominations and everything and with how solid you did at the game now how you see safe in the next five years in the future to come ah in the next five years that's a good one you know in the beginning, I used to worry about myself. So, oh, I want to be an actor, I want to be a producer, and all that. But as time keep going, I realized, wait a minute, it came from somewhere. And that is your year. Yeah. Okay. I start watching, I'm able to see the salon movies then out there. So I kind of change on the plan. And that is uh um, how do I get not just my movies, but not our brothers and sisters, the movies out here in the US? So, so I did my work on the package. Okay. And that is to help Sierra Leone movies them, but they're out. I don't actually start the, the, uh, distribution, distribution. Okay. but I did run into problems, and that is uh, piracy, yeah. which is uh, one of the hardest things to go through. As a matter of fact, me live in Texas, and I try to contact somebody in my LA to put my movies there. And when I call the store, and I so give the store the name of the movie, the store told me, "Oh, we already have the movie." <laughs> you know, I mean, this is not funny. And I'm like, "How do you get the movie?" And the lady tell me, "He's an Ivorian guy that gave him the movie." I have no friend. I mean, nothing to Ivorians. That is an Ivorian. So how do you get the movie? You know, so there's a little problem. So in the next five years, my goal is not just about myself, but to make sure we sell movies then get the out of stores. I actually get a couple of them, but it just get to wait for a little bit. So 
you know, so we can go through the process. Okay. You know, so in the next five years, yeah, I really want to see Salon movie out. Okay, you know? since you don't talk about Salon movies, so from the time with Salon movie start to now, what in how you see Salon movie? What advice you get for them? You want the wedding at the movie industry in the Salon? You, you, I think first of all, the Salon movies them good because the movie is not just about how people act. It's the story. So with Salon movies, they win it on see so far. They're all good because the storylines are good. The actors are good. The only problem is um, the lack of equipment. You know, they lack a little training. That doesn't mean they can't do it. Because I can imagine they can get good cameras. They get good soft, you know, softwares to yeah. edit. And just little basic things to help them at least so they can go far. You know, because I mean, they're doing a very good job. I like everything. Okay. Everything. Okay. Doing. And since you're there, I don't know if you get any advice for them. What do you mean you'll be able to tell them <laughs> since you don't watch the movies then? The, the only advice when you get to me, Salon brothers and sisters, is do not discourage. You know, there is no journey that doesn't have obstacles. So some of us have been through it and we are going through it. And I believe some of you are still going through it. And also, let nobody discourage anybody mm -hmm. to say, oh, you can't do it. Because the reason I can say that is because I've been to set where they look at me and say, oh, you know, you can't play the role. Complete discouragement. But you know what? Don't let nobody discourage you. Practice make perfect. Your dream is your dream. Let nobody kill your dream. So as for the movie producers, the one day when they make movie, when I just keep doing it. The market is wide, and um, like I say, some of we there we they try to work very hard to make sure say this thing work for we all. So I don't promise anybody saying that this me will do, but by God in will, I will make sure I help in me own way to help the rest of us. Okay, that's no answer. Well, we tell totally you plenty. Thank you for take part of your busy time. And you stop by for the way we get um, this quick talk with you. I don't know if you get any last word for tell your fans then out there. You know, um, I want to tell them I all say this my way is your next to me. I want to tell them thank you because you know why? Anytime somebody is taking time, not just to promote an actor, producer, but to put the country in heart, I think it's in a place for telling them. So first of all, I want to tell you thank you okay. for this interview because, I mean, these things mean a lot, not just to some of us, but it means a lot to the country and to everybody. So I really want to encourage you to, to continue. To me, Salon people, then, we need our support. We need our support, not just in buying the movies, but um, the people they know of who they are, not me, Sierra Leone actors and actors. And also to those of you in the US who get African stores, start asking for Sierra Leone movies. I can tell you an example. There's a guy in New York who did distribute uh, African movies. Mm -hmm. I tried to talk to her about Salon movies, people you know, going into the distribution of movies. The first question they asked me was, who are the stars? I'm like, the people in the movies are the stars. It's you know? <laughs> yeah, like, true. no, I don't know them. No, you don't have to, to know, know them. them. You, know? Yeah. you just have to give them the opportunity, the, the opportunity yeah. to be there. Now, the reason we make at the top is not because they get thousands of Sierra Leoneans across the US who get African stuff and then they buy from the same guys. Yeah. I'm not discouraging anybody mm -hmm. to buy from them, but just ask for a Sierra Leone movie yeah. or a Sierra Leone actor and actress. What you do is you already send a message to the same guys to start, oh, sorry, to start calling mm -hmm. and ask for a Sierra Leone movie. It's like, yeah. oh, Mohammed, they're asking me for your country movie now. Where is it? How can I? You know, when you ask, people will ask. You know, so, yeah, to all the Salon fans, do. Nalo support the Salon industry. I'm not getting too much to say. By the way, I'm not a good speaker anyway. So, <laughs> if I say anything, um, forgive me. Okay, we want to tell you thank you. And it was nice meeting you. And we hope, say, we get forget a little more time in the future. We will pop by and just see how. 
we all do not use the near yet. No problem, anytime. All right, thank you, sir. Guillermo Awards, October 19, 2013. On October 19, 2013, announcing the second annual Golden Icons Academy Movie Awards, Guillermo, right here in Houston, Texas. You have to be there. So don't miss out. Get your tickets on time at www.guillermoawards.com. Seats are limited and guaranteed to be sold out. Again, log on to www.guillermoawards.com. Fumble Mona, I'll do again. Uh, we're then at the 2013 Guillermo Movie Awards, and we get to Salon Bua and I are, um, Mr. Ba. When I remember earlier on in this clip, when I see we do another interview and we come the award, and I'm in the tell with small, but this award. Yes, Mr. Ba. Um, family, uh, thank you very much for watching again. You know, this award um, is a good award, first of all. Last year, I was nominated in this same award. The move way I produced here from our five category nominations. So this year, I will not enter any movie, but um, there's hope, you know, and also. You know, many things are going to come. Even last year, sorry, this year again, they will nominate me in Atlanta, uh, African USA Award. Okay. But uh, my dear Michael, you know, you know winning that mm -hmm. one. So the recognition is happening. It's coming slowly. But um, definitely the 2013 Gamma Award is a good uh, award show. But to me, Salon Brothers and Sisters, they are senior movies. So we can enter these movies into these kind of shows. As a matter of fact, um, I was a big pioneer for entering movie last year with Jimmy Okay. You know, um, something family. You know, family affairs. Um, enemy of the family. Oh, okay. So he actually got a uh, nomination produced by this So you know, I'm kind of pioneer with that too. So I mean, the Gamma Award was a good. Yeah, and me to me surprised coming in this award. I see then give like shout out to Sierra Leoneans, and I believe say so we're getting there. We, we're getting recognized. Yes, you know? yes, 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 yes. You know what? We are getting recognized. The name Sierra Leone was uh, was in the house. So yeah, definitely. Sure. The name Sierra Leone was in the house tonight, and uh, we look forward to many more. You know? yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Um, we just say for stop by for Leon and Lucy, we say um, we come the 2013 Guillermo Awards and we get to win Salon Brother. And today we say at this big old, big auditorium, and Salon we get a shout out. And we we they go there, we know say we not go there. It's um, just like how um, Mr. Badon tell we all the producers within a salon and everything. We not try for link up. Let we say get more recognition because if they don't know about the movies, they're not going to recognize us. You know, which is true, which is true. We need for the people to movies them that then kind competition. You know, because um, every effort make it. Yeah, sure. So, so but like you, you, you say, you know, we don't start for the get recognition because today the name was yeah, in the house. It was in there. You know, last year we were in the house. Mm -hmm. So next year we will win that award. Yeah. So you know, movie makers when I send them, you know, it was a good time. I really yeah. had a good time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so, but, uh, thank you very much. Too. Okay, boss. Okay. Well, thank you. And to so people, then the ball left to we all. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good thank you. Thank you. Very much. All right. <laughs> Na money, yeah. you really get for no one you the spend a boo. Oh man, na money, na money, yeah. so brother man go spend a boo. Oh man, na money, yeah. na money, yeah. hey hey, brother man go spend a spend.